Flashbox Fiction presents Payday, written and narrated by Wilson E. Clark. Not every day is a payday, Vic thought, wiping a handful of sweat off his brow. Then again, not every day is today. Vic chuckled as he turned towards a dark blue backpack, sitting next to him on the couch that he'd salvaged from a local pawn shop. Vic's eyes rolled in disgust as he glanced at the cracked vinyl upholstery, then he turned his attention towards the backpack once more, reaching in and pulling out a plastic CD jewel case. Vic brought the case up towards his face and turned it around with his fingertips. It truly was the information age. Who would have thought 20 years ago one little disc could be worth so much? Knowledge was power. Vic set the disc on his lap and glanced down at his chest. His shirt was soaked through, and he wiped more sweat from his brow. He scowled while eyeing the culprit, a worn-out air conditioner hanging outside the apartment window, a piece of garbage that had never worked. Not that it mattered anymore. Vic would be able to buy a new one. He glanced around his apartment, a humble dwelling with white walls, the worn vinyl couch, a rickety kitchen table, and a small black-and-white television sitting on a stand in one corner. Heck, Vic would be able to buy a whole new house now, maybe even a mansion. Vic licked his lips and fantasized. A new place on the beach, a vacation house for his parents, a new sports car perhaps. Things he could afford once the deal was done. What's taking so long? Vic said out loud, shaking his head as he pulled out his cell phone. It was 5.30 p.m. The buyer had promised to call at 5 p.m and arrange a location to do the exchange. Vic looked down to realize he'd started tapping his fingers against the couch arm, each of the five appendages tapping against the vinyl in direct succession, making a galloping sound like a horse. He smiled as he remembered doing this as a child, relieving moments of boredom by pretending to be on a racetrack. Vic would take a deep breath and let it out in a whisper, imitating a cheering crowd. He rounds the last bend, and looks like he's clear to the finish line. But wait, wait, another rider's gaining on him, sneaking up from behind. This is a close one, ladies and gentlemen. They're almost neck and neck. A violent knock on the apartment door shook Vic from his memories. He tilted his head to one side out of curiosity and got off the couch. The knocking continued as Vic glanced through the peephole and observed a delivery man dressed in a brown hat shirt, and pants, with a cardboard box and clipboard in his hands. Vic opened the door and stared at him. What do you want? Vic asked. I have a delivery for a Mr. Vic Lucent. I'll sign for it, Vic said. Vic took the clipboard and signed his name, his eyes glancing down at the page before him as he did so. After Vic had finished, he looked up to find a silenced pistol stuck in his face. The last sound he ever heard was the soft f of the gun as the bullet struck him right between the eyes. Vic's vision blurred and his mouth hung open, the longest second of his life and also the last. His body crumpled to the ground with a soft thud against the floor, and blood began to seep from his skull, soaking the carpet a dark crimson hue. Pistol still at the ready, the delivery man entered the apartment, his eyes searching in every direction until they came to rest on the plastic CD jewel case Vic had left sitting on the couch next to his cell phone. The delivery man picked up the case and pulled out the disc from inside. He reached into his pocket and took out a small device with an LCD screen. At the touch of his finger, the device powered on and he stuck the disc into a slot on the side. The screen lit up and the delivery man's lips curled into a victorious smile. He turned off the device pulled out the disc, and pocketed both. The delivery man turned and made his way back towards the door, stepping over a Vic's lifeless corpse. When he reached the hallway, he took one last glance inside the apartment and shut the door behind him. Back on the couch inside the apartment, Vic's cell phone sat like its lifeless owner, quiet and unmoving, until finally, after several minutes, the ringer sprang to life, repeating over and over again, as Vic's buyer tried to reach him. As he walked down the stairwell and out of the apartment building, the delivery man's mind replayed everything that had just happened, relishing the kill. 
When he got into his car, the delivery man took the disc out and slid it into a postal envelope with a destination address already written on top. He fired up the car and left the parking lot. After several blocks, the delivery man stopped at a roadside mailbox, sealed the envelope, and dropped it into the slot. As he drove away, he pulled a cell phone from his pocket and began to dial. There were several rings before the call was answered on the opposite end. Job's done, the delivery man said. He listened for several moments, a grin forming across his mouth as he did. Very well, the delivery man said. It's always a pleasure doing business. He closed the phone, knowing that at that exact moment, his payment was being wired to an offshore account. Payday, the delivery man said. Best day of the... He didn't have time to finish, as his car suddenly exploded into a deafening fury of flame and debris. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Flashbox Fiction. Be sure to like and subscribe for new stories. And until next time, remember, stay weird.